Hello YouTube, this is You Can Do It Dave. Um, in one of my last videos I showed you how to fix a, a broken gear holder in a smart scoop litter box. Okay, and I realized that well this thing has a lot of little pieces in it and if you were halfway through the repair and your cat jumped up on the table and knocked everything all sideways, how would you know how to put it back together? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to dismantle this thing and then reassemble it. Keeping in mind that if something were to happen halfway through the repair. So your kid comes and throws a basketball at you and knocks everything sideways. You'll be able to uh, repair it. So first we'll take out the screws. So now with this unit, there are four main screws that, that have to be come out. And there is one little tiny one right up top here. Okay, so we'll take a little tiny one and we'll set him aside. We'll take those guys and we'll set those aside. Okay, so one of the things I keep in mind when I'm working on a project like this is a bowl of cereal or a, a pot of spaghetti with a lid on it, okay? You've got the pot of spaghetti and you've got the lid. You don't want to open it upside down. You want that pot of spaghetti to sit and you take the lid off and there's all your goodies, okay? So you set the lid aside. Now there are... I missed I missed a piece here. There are four screws right along here, and they only hold on this little thin strip of plastic. Okay, they don't really do much. So back to the spaghetti. Okay, so now we get into the gears. And in one of my previous comments, I, I had assumed that this had gone underneath a gear, but I was incorrect. Um, it goes over this gear. So this little steel spring pops out. Set it aside. Okay. Um, this big half gear... Looks like it's being bent. Has a washer on it. Don't lose the washer. Okay, it gets set aside. You have a, a large double-sided gear. So we could take that post, take that post out. Then we have two smaller gears. Oh, that one there is broken. Okay, so we got a broken gear. Um, so you've got two almost, I'm, I'm going to assume they're identical, almost identical, yeah. So you've got two gears, mine happens to be broken, and it's missing some teeth. Um, so you set those two aside. So the, this, this one here comes out, set it aside. That one there is fairly solid, that pin doesn't come out. That pin comes out. And this little plate comes off. Okay. That that is in there. That slides around, but it's anchored in there with the wires. So if it falls out, well you just slide it back into the slots. Okay. Now on this side, if you lift if you take this white gear, lift it up and turn it. So you have more of, a, more of a space. This handle does come out. Okay. And that should do it. If you, if your cat jumps up on there and it goes bouncing across the floor and it's not broken, that's all the pieces that should fall out. So now we got to put it back together. So this slides in, 
Let's see here. Slides in like that. Then you can turn that again, click it down. Now this little arm here hits that switch. So this is kind of doing double duty. It's it, When you turn the handle, it flips the switch and lifts the gear. Okay, so that's back in there. Now we can... I'm not really sure which way this thing goes, so uh, we'll we'll put it towards the gear. Put the pin in. Make sure it's well seated. I will I will have to look and see if I can't find a replacement set of gears for this, but I'm not going to hold my breath. And then this big guy goes in there. Pin in first. Ah, no, you have to pull out the small gear. Set the big gear in. Little guy goes on top. There you go. Now this guy, remember you have a washer. So you give this big guy a lift. Slide him underneath. And you're in. Okay. Put this plastic arm back on there. Make sure it's facing the right direction. I believe it was going that way. <laughs> Bad memory. Um, but if if you if you happen to put this arm on the wrong direction, you can always open it up and fix it again. Okay, so then this goes across like that. And there is your completed motor unit. So uh, I just got done checking with the other Smart Scoop litter box, and both these hooks have to face the back of the box. Okay, so we'll pull this spring out. Flip this over, and we'll put the spring back in. So yeah, they, they, they have to both face that way. So now that you have it properly assembled with both the hooks facing the right way, all the gears are in, the, spring, the two springs are in, okay, and your wire is properly trapped so that when the unit moves, it's, it won't pull the wire out, okay? Keeping in mind that you got a big bowl of spaghetti. You want to put your lid on. Okay. Now, as long as you have a good grip on it, you can move it around. And you want to make sure that this piece here is properly attached, okay? So keeping the lid up, lift it up a bit, slide it in, and click it, click it in, okay? Now you should be able to put your screws in. I'm going to put this one in the corner here first. Oops. I'm going to put this one in first. Nice and snug. Don't, don't, don't over tighten it. You don't want to strip it. Just so I know that's in there. <laughs> and then we can put in the rest of the screws. Okay, and there you have your completed motor unit. There you go. So this is You Can Do It, Dave. Hopefully this will help someone. And we'll see you next time.